Hello, DJ Aaron Abramson here. Today I am at the Green Acres Barn and Event Center in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. It is a beautiful 4th of July afternoon. We are here for Alicia and Matthew's wedding. The ceremony is going to go on upstairs there in the barn. Then we're going to have dinner and dancing all night long here. The place just looks spectacular. I'm really excited. The guests are already arriving. It's going to be a good time tonight. Ceremony is over. And now the room is reset here for dinner. And we'll be dancing all night long. If you can hear my voice, clap once. If you can hear my voice, clap twice. If you can hear my voice, clap three times. Good evening. My name is Aaron Abramson. I'm going to be your DJ and master of ceremonies for the rest of this lovely evening. Now that I've just proven I can make you all clap. Wait till later, I'll prove I can make you dance. Now, if you got a phone, a camera, turn and face the stairs over here and help me welcome the wedding party. Our maid of honor, Natalie Friedman, escorted by our best man, Konstantin Pochersnik. Please stand and help me welcome our guests of honor, the Mr. and Mrs. Matthew and Alicia Smith. Thank you, you may be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before we get dinner kicked off, Alicia has a surprise here for Matt. Matt is an avid golfer, and so for the groom's cake, she picked out a beautiful cake shaped like a golf ball that says forever, forever. And so right now we're gonna have the cake cutting ceremony. Now how many in this room know the history and tradition for having cake at a wedding reception? I don't, and nobody I see. Let me share that with you now. Wheat, that is in flour and in cake, is itself considered to be a symbol of good luck. And when this all started back in the early Roman times, wheat was often reserved for the wealthy. So it was seen as a sign of luxury and abundance for a couple to have a sweet wheat bun at their reception. Now back then, they would take that bun and they would crumble it over the bridal couple's head. Meaning, and then you guys would have gotten to share the crumb off the, off the ground, meaning you could share in their good fortune. Now, Matt and Alicia have been kind enough to make sure there's cake enough for everybody so you don't have to sell for crumbs. And I've promised not to crumble anything over her head today. So here comes the ceremony part as they complete their final set of vows for the day. Go ahead and pick up that knife there. His hand over hers on the knife. This is a vow for them to take care of their family together. And as they make that first slice, working out a piece to feed each other, they are not only completing their first action as a married couple, but they are vowing to make decisions and follow through on them together from now on. You can go ahead and cut the piece. And then finally, as they feed each other a piece, all frosting. Finally, as they feed each other a piece, this is a vow to nourish each other, mind, body, and soul for all time. Isn't that a sweet tradition in every sense? Let's give them a big hand. We're going to hear a few words from Matt, and then Micah will be giving the blessing for dinner. I just want to thank everybody, uh, truly from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for coming and being here today. It means the world to us. Everyone enjoy the food. It should be good. And, uh, have a great rest of the night. Thanks for being here. Okay. Oh, the Lord is good to me. I'm so happy to go
I couldn't have said that better myself. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please wait for the staff to release you to the buffet.